we've seen this concrete. Yeah, it's here, just here. Yeah, yeah, right. I started planning this observation campaign back in February, and so we reached out to the two most likely countries, Colombia and Senegal, and started to learn what we could or couldn't do in those two countries, and uh, got some amazing responses back from the Senegalese people. Je voudrais donc saluer et dire bienvenue à, aux experts des États-Unis, aux experts français en terre sénégalaise. January 1st of the coming year, we will fly by a new object, and that's the one that we're studying here. And to carry out a successful experiment with this mission that flies by, you cannot afford to make mistakes. MU-69, or the nickname that we've given it, Ultima Thule, is an object out beyond Pluto. It's the coldest regions of the solar system. It's been undisturbed since the formation of our solar system and has an clues that uh, we are anxiously awaiting on January 1st, 2019. But there is, it's so far away, so distant, so faint, that it's very difficult to learn anything about it. And these occultations are one of the best ways that we have of learning about it. For instance. Le but, c'est d'arriver à localiser l'étoile qui va être occultée par l'astéroïde 2014 et Mu69. Uh, dont on va attendre l'occultation dans uh, trois nuits maintenant. This is going to be very, very important for New Horizons, for the remaining planning that exists between now and December, and uh, will simplify our task for getting ready. But I've done this before. Ground-based observations are subject to the whims of weather. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. 